Hello, hello, hello. Hey, what's up, David? Aldo, what's going on, brother? Nothing much, you know. Great to connect with you, bro. Yeah, likewise. Yes, man. Likewise. Right on. Thank you for taking the time. No, thank you for helping me. Yeah, for sure, bro. What are you up to? What do you got going on on, on social media? Are you building real estate or what? Uh, actually, yeah. Um, cool, man. Yeah, I just started becoming an agent, and um, I want to do some investing on the side. So I, I'm really just trying to build a brand, you know, and I'm, because I've never done that, I'm really, really new at it. So. Oh, bro, I'm going to give you a crash course, man. I'm going to really put you up put you up to speed and and really, really give you a ton in, in a few minutes here, man, because I, I've just been doing this forever. So I see, I see what every agent is doing. Yeah. And so I just kind of consult and I just kind of coach on teaching agents how to do the opposite. Okay. <laughs> like, cause I, I see what everyone's doing. So I'm going to show you how to do, how to do what they're not doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, sure. Because I, I, I literally, I literally see it by the thousands and I'll, I'll kind of show you, show you how and, and, and what I mean by that. Okay. But, um, when did you get licensed? Uh, two weeks ago, brother. Oh so, man, congrats, yeah. bro! Yeah, thank you. Yeah, really, it was a really long time cool. coming. Yeah, yeah. And, so, and you've been uh, in Colorado your whole life, or what? Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that's I've been in Colorado my whole life. Um, I was actually born in Mexico, but nice. I was raised in Colorado, so you know, I just am from here. <laughs> wow, man! Right on. Yeah. What part of Mexico? Chihuahua, Mexico. Wow, which is right man! In Texas. Yep. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Right on. I actually, I've been, I've been in San Diego my whole life. Um, okay. So I'm like, as I'm like as South, I'm as South California as they get, man. Like as far as like, I'm five minutes away from the border. Oh, really? You yeah. Know what I mean? So you so just like, grew up in little Mexico, basically. I did, man. Yeah. I did. <laughs> and, awesome. and it's crazy, bro, because I never picked up on Spanish and it's weird because it was always like a hard language to me, man. I don't know why, yeah. Yeah. but I Especially grew up around speaking <laughs> super fast and stuff. Right. Yeah, like it was yeah. just, I don't know, man. It, it, it's easy to people, but then it was hard for me. I don't know, man. And I grew up around nothing but Mexican, nothing but yeah. Hispanics, Latinos. Yeah. Like I grew up around that and I don't know yeah. how or why I just never picked up the language. Yeah, it was I weird. And I lived sure. right here my whole life. I grew up in, I mean, I would go to TJ and party. Like I would, yeah, man, it was like weird. <laughs> That's awesome. It was weird, man. But right now I'm glad yeah. to connect with you, man. Yeah, man <laughs> I'm glad likewise. to connect with you. Yeah, and it, it it normally starts a lot when when someone sends me an invite like when a when an agent sends me an invite to like their business page that's kind of normally okay. how it starts because that's what every agent is doing whether it's an agent or a business owner you could you okay. could be a dry cleaner owner you can own a yoga studio you know you can own a restaurant like a local restaurant right there in Colorado and if you have a business page what you end up doing is you end up inviting these friends over here to like the page yeah. Right. So wh yeah. whoever you become friends with, you, you end up clicking invite or maybe just sending them an invite or whatever yeah. to like the page. And so that's n normally how it starts. And I just kind of reach out and say, Hey man, there's a way better way. And it's called a Facebook ad. But, but what, what I ended up kind of finding, and I've just been doing this for, for the past, well, just marketing online. And just to kind of give you some context of where I'm even coming from, just so you can, you can know, you can understand how this makes sense and, and what I'm going to show you for real estate. Okay. But I've just been, I've been online and, and really trying to crack the code of what it takes to capture a lead on the internet for the past 20 years. Okay. So 20, 21 years, 1999 is when I got into internet marketing, just online advertising and, and really trying to master that, that craft. What does it take to put an ad out online to get someone to click on it and want to give up their name and number? You know what I mean? Like lead yeah. capture. Like I've just been doing yeah. that since, since then, but it wasn't until 2010 when I got into mortgages. So I was a lender licensed for the state of California and licensed for the state of Washington for six okay. years. So 2010 to 2016 is when we crushed it in mortgages here in California, here in San Diego. Okay. That was just like refis, reverse mortgages, um, first time home buyers. So I, I, that was that six year period is kind of when the light bulb kind of went on for me because I was networking with a ton of realtors. I had so many agents that I was partnered with. They were bringing their clients to our bank. We were getting their clients approved and, and, and I was networking and meeting a ton of real estate agents. And because of my background in marketing, I knew that the majority of them were not leveraging social media. Like when it comes to real estate agents in general, majority of them don't even advertise, don't even yeah. advertise. A lot of them, you know, depend on word of mouth and referrals and any, any agent that's really out there crushing it offline and they are advertising. 
I knew that they were spending way more than they need to. And they could be doing that at a fraction on social media, like billboards, bus benches, Zillow ads, or, or Zillow leads, anything like that, offline direct mail, you know, mailing to a couple zip codes. I knew all that was expensive. And any agent that was trying to do that, again, could have been doing that at a fraction on social media. So this is just stuff that I started knowing and started realizing, right? And so fast forward in 2016, I leave mortgages to start consulting real estate agents. And so that's all I've been doing since, since 2016 is, is helping real estate agents, coaching them, and just kind of guiding them through the basics of social media branding and Facebook okay. advertising. So I've been, I've been focused 1,000% on, on real estate agents and helping you guys since 2016. And okay. so also from a marketing perspective, just like you, it's like, it's like you know, being a real estate agent, it's like, damn, how do I find that next deal? How do I find that next seller? How do I find that next buyer? That's what the number one question is. For me, when I, when I left mortgages and wanted to start helping you guys, that was also a question. How do, I, how, do, how do I get to you? Like, how do I find my next client? How do I find my next, you know, friend that I want to help? Like, how do I find them? So what I did, here's, here's my page over here, Aldo. What, what I did, and let me refresh this page. What I did in 2016 is I came over here to Facebook because I'm like, dang, how in the heck am I going to reach out to everyone? Like, am I going to cold call every agent and pitch them? Like, am I going to reach out to everyone that I did business with in mortgages and now pitch them marketing? Like, I didn't want to do that. So in 2016, what I did over here on Facebook is I literally removed all of my real friends. Like my cool. homies, dude, like real, yeah. real friends. Like my, my aunts, my uncles, my, my in-laws, my mom, my own brother, my, my just random cousins, people that I actually know. I removed all of them from my personal page. I put them all on my Instagram and it was only a couple hundred people. I mean, let's keep it real. When, when over here on your personal, it's not like you, it's not like you know thousands of people, no. right? Like, like at the end of the day, when you take this number up, when you go from 300 to 3000, mm -hmm. you ain't going to know any of them. No, like you might, you no. might be sitting on 300 right now and be like, David, those are all my homeboys from school. I know a majority of all of them. I lived here forever. Those are people in Colorado. I know them. I'll give you that at 300. But okay. once you take that number to 1300, bro, you ain't going to know any of them. No. Like, yeah, cause, cause definitely. that's scaling. And, and it's the same yeah. thing when it comes to Instagram, the same thing when it comes to LinkedIn, to Pinterest, to, to Twitter, it's the same thing. When you take this number up, you ain't going to know any of them. Okay. Right. Yeah. You ain't going to know any of them. Just like you no. and I, bro, like you don't know me. I don't know you. No. It's, just, uh, it's it, that, that, and now we're Facebook friends. Yep. So, so it's like, this is the type of stuff that, that, that I just started seeing by the thousands. So what I did is I removed all my real friends and I started replacing them. I started requesting, I started going on a blitz and I started adding every agent I could. So okay. right now, when you look at this friend list, bro, four, nine, eight, seven, like it's a public list. You can look at every single one of them. When yeah. you look at my friends, every single one of them except for one, which is this one right here. This is my wife right here, Melina. Uh -huh. She's the only one, bro, out of 4987 who is not an agent. agent. Okay. Well, the only one, dude. The only one. The okay. only one. That's 4986 agents. Uh -huh. Brokers, agents. This is since 2016, okay? okay? And there's a reason why I'm telling you this. So since 2016... I've literally been seen, and, and I keep this number fresh, bro. You'll see it at 5,000, and then I'll unfriend a few people, then I'll re-up. Like, you'll always see this number at 5,000. This number, if you come back to my page in a couple hours, it'll be at 5,000. I okay. always keep it at 5,000, and then I'll unfriend a few, and then add a, more, add, add a few more. So I'm always keep, keeping my list, because that's my list. Just like you, bro, you're going to have a buyer's list. You're going to have a seller's list. You're going to have these yeah. prospects that are looking to buy. You're going to have a list. Yeah. I look at this as my list as well. So, so since 2016, I've been building this list. And since 2016, I've been seeing by the thousands how everyone's marketing their real estate business. So when you follow, bro, when you follow, when you follow thousands of people who all have the same interest on social media, mm -hmm. you follow these people on social media, you start to see patterns and habits. You start to see what they're doing. When you follow thousands of people, bro, who all have the same job, 
Like that's no joke. Like I'm not talking all these different platforms and just the internet in general. I'm talking about Facebook alone. On yeah. Facebook, I've been following thousands and seeing how thousands of them are marketing their business, how they're yeah. posting their listing, how they're posting their open house, how they're marketing themselves, how they're trying to brand themselves. I'm seeing it by the thousands. And so that started in 2016. In 2018, I ended up writing a book about it. Because I'm like, damn, I'm now, I'm now connected with thousands of agents. I'm now seeing what every single one of them is doing. And because I have this marketing background, I automatically knew that they were all missing the basics. Everyone's coming on a social media, trying to build their brand, trying to get their social media game up because they're okay. building their business, right? Yeah. Because they're building their business. Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, let's keep it real. I'm looking for my next buyer or I'm, a, or I'm looking for my next seller. <clears throat> There's really no in between either. Yeah. Someone's interested in buying right now or they're interested in selling right now, or they want to talk about it right now. There's no yeah. in between. That's really all, 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 all that was here for, yeah. right? Like that's let, let's keep it real. Yeah. So I knew that, right? I knew that I knew that. But as I started looking at thousands of pages, personal pages, <clears throat> business pages, getting everyone to click invite and now they're inviting me to like their business page and I, and I get that all day. So look, 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 Heather, there goes Aldo, Lana, Emily, Sharla, Pam, Paola, Courtney. Look, every single agent, bro, every single agent. And when I click on any agent's business page, any agent, I've seen it by the thousands, bro. When I come to a real estate agent's business page, actually this ain't even her business page, yeah, see, this is her, her, I don't even know how she sent me that one, but let's go to this one. Invited you to Pam Novark Realtor. When I come to anyone's business page, I've been looking at these pages, bro, since 2016. When I come to anyone's page, 99.9999% have about 100 likes. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why that's so important, the like count. But again, long story short, bro. I just started seeing this. I started, I started looking at what everyone's doing and I, and I boiled it down in 2018 to five basic steps. I wrote a book about it. Um, it's the social real estate agent.com. Um, and it, and it, and it's, and it's five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast, the social real estate agent.com. So I wrote that book in 2018, talking about the basics, talking about how every agent is on social media trying to build their brand, but they're missing the basics. And so that's what I'm going to show, show you real quick, bro, is just okay. show you these basics to, to up your brand, to up your brand and to up, and to up your lead capture, okay. because that's what it's all about, is, yeah. is social media branding and capturing leads on social media, but knowing how to do it, okay? Because okay. I'm telling you, no, not, not, not many do. Not, okay. not many know how to do it. So here's what you want to do, bro. Here's step one. Here's step one. You have a personal page and then you have your business page, right? Yeah. Let me, um, let me pull up your business page. So, okay. so we have the personal, we have the business. The That's personal great. is super important, bro. The, the personal Facebook business page is, is by far the most important. The only, the only time you'll ever even need this business page is if you're running Facebook ads. So oh. if you're going to be running Facebook ads, that's what this page is all about. Okay. Now, now everyone has this page because it's free and it makes us look legit. We got this yeah. Facebook business page, right? Yeah. But, but at the same time, posting over here and then inviting these people, if, and it's only when you take this friend count up. Like, like okay. I'm, I'm willing to bet you probably know a good amount of the 300, right? Because you've been there yeah. forever. Like these yeah, are probably your homies. Yeah. But, but, but as, you, as I kept saying, as you take that number up, you're not going to know any of them. So what yeah, ends up yeah. happening is you'll take this number to 1300 and then you'll invite those other 1000 people eventually. Mm -hmm. And those 1000 people will all be like me who live across the country. Okay. So, so yeah. you're inviting me who lives across the country to like your page. Yep. I'll like it to support you. But the moment you start posting anything real estate related, it doesn't apply to me. Yep. So that's why, yeah, that's why I really like an invite to these people, if they're not in Colorado, it's a waste of time because, mm -hmm. because as you post over here, two reasons, one, one reason, number one, as you take the 300 friend list up and you start to invite those people and then you take the 91 to let's just say 291. Yeah. Because now you got, now you got a thousand friends over there 
and now you're inviting people and now you got that number up to almost 300 and you feel like you're killing it. Yeah. The reason why that's a waste of time is because 90 plus percent of those 300 will live across the country. Mm. So it's like, okay. damn, why post over here when these people over here live across the country and it's irrelevant to all of them? That's okay. number one. And then number two, Facebook only shows it to 1% of your like count. That's why when you post, no one's liking it. It's not that yeah. no one likes it. It's just the fact that no one's seen it. Yeah. I was wondering why I was getting a lot more attention with my personal page. Yes, man. Yes. So. Yes. No, yeah. not Facebook doesn't show it to, to everyone. Facebook shows it to 1% of your like count because Facebook is like, dude, if all those really all that, and this is a business, he needs to be running ads. That's how Facebook looks at this page now. So it's no longer, okay, yeah, let's just put up a free page and advertise for free. Hell no. Facebook wants you to, they want you to advertise this page. So, so, okay. so whenever you post, they're not going to show it to everybody unless you're paying for that post. And that's a Facebook mm -hmm. ad. Okay. So we'll, we'll get to that for sure. But, but all I'm saying is that as I started seeing these things, that's what, in, that's what inspired me to write about these five steps. So okay. here's, here's step one, man. Here's step one. Here's what you want to do first. And it all starts here. So that's okay. what I was trying to explain is that yeah. you have your business page and then you have your personal page. Your personal page is going to be mo more important right now, especially if you're yeah. not running Facebook ads. And, and the reason why is because this is where you're connecting with everybody. Yep. Like, like you're connecting with everybody, whether you meet me locally at a local restaurant, let's say you and I were at happy hour and we're just chilling and, and I got my friends, you got your friends and we're just at some random restaurant, you know, having a couple of drinks or whatever we, and this is in, this is local, you know, we're both right there in Aurora and, yeah. and, and we just happen to, to cross paths and, and meet. How many times does that happen, bro? Like, well, without this whole quarantine crap, but how many times when we're just out and out and about and we run into random people that we meet? Just like that happens a lot, bro. I'm always running a to lot. people, right? Yeah. Especially if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to be out there networking, yeah. Yeah, especially definitely. now, bro, you're real estate. You're going to be handing out your business card to people, Yeah. right? Yeah. Like you're yep. going to be meeting people, man. And then yep. that's just, well, we always do that. But now that you're a real estate agent, now that you're licensed, now that you probably have some business cards and you're excited, yep. you're going to be talking to people. Yep. That's just what's going to happen. You're going to be out definitely. talking yep. to people. And that's these right. people that you end up meeting locally, these are people that you meet for the first time. You never knew them before. Mm -hmm. That's a person that most likely you'll end up connecting with on Facebook. And when you connect with them on Facebook, it's on this page. Okay. That's the someone locally. Page. Yep. That's one type of person that's going to fill up your 300. Okay. The other type of person that's going to fill up this, li this friend list are people like me. People that you're meeting virtually. People that you never met. People that you're just connecting and, and, and accepting on Facebook as a friend. That's a virtual friend, someone like me that we've never met before. That's someone that we're now connected with. So here's my point. Here's step one. As these two types of people, and then of course you have your friends from school, all these older friends that you knew forever, right? That's all there yeah. too. Mm -hmm. But as you take the 300 number up, those are the next, those are the two types of people that are going to be here because chances are you got all your friends already. The only way we're going to take it from 300 to 600 is from a bunch of random people people yeah. that we don't even know yet. Again, yeah. those are the two types of people. You either meet me locally and I've been in that area forever, but I never met you or you're meeting me virtually like you and I are today. Yeah. Either, either way, here's what step one is. As I come to this page, there's intro, there's information in this intro, I should say. There's information in this intro that needs to be here. And again, bro, it's not just your page. I see it by the thousands and I'm, wow, I'm no. referring to real estate. To be honest with you, a month ago, I didn't even have social media. Are you so serious, knew, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So a month ago, like, wow. And I knew I had to open up my social media in order to be successful in this business because this is where you meet people now. Like this is yes, where you meet bro. And stuff. So yes, yeah. yes. It, it is, it is. And, and, and as we go into the further steps, step two, step three, step four, step five, and it's really quick too. These are just basic steps that I'll run over quick. Mm -hmm. But as we go into these future steps, it's going to be less social media to tell you the truth. And, and yeah. I'll explain that. But, but, but having a social media presence is the most important, yep. but how you're going to market your business is going to be very strategic. And okay. I'll, I'll cover that. Okay. But here's, here's step one. Here's what you want to do to this part first. first. First, first, for sure. Like this is number one. 
in this intro, you got to mm -hmm. update this intro. You got to add okay. some links. Okay. So here's, here's, here's what everyone's looks like again, bro. Agents. Yeah. This is yeah. what everyone's looks mm -hmm. like. Okay. You got, you got the, you got the little quote up here and yep. then you got studied real estate yep. and then you got studied banking yep. and then you got went lives single. Okay. Here's how, here's how I want it. Here's how I want you to, to, to make it look. Here's okay. what I'm going to encourage you to, to, to make it look like. Okay. So this is your page, real estate agent. This is Candy's page, real estate agent. So as you come to Candy's page, the very first thing, and, and it's all about first impression, bro. That's what it's yeah. about. Obviously the image is everything. Like obviously you want a good, a good profile picture, a good headshot. Yeah. yeah, whatever. That's a good, that's the first impression. That's a yeah. good, a good look right there. But it's okay. not just that it's my intro. This is the first impression. People can look at images all damn day, but the intro is where I'm going to lead people. So right away, she's sending me straight real estate agent at, and she's, she's sending me straight to her business page. That is a link that goes directly to her business page over here. This link, this link don't go anywhere. Actually it goes to, it goes to, it goes to community college. Yeah. It's like, damn, we don't, but here's the deal. We don't need anyone liking that page. We don't no. need anyone knowing about that page. Yeah. Right. Like that's, and that's the first thing you're, you're, you're promoting. So it's like, dude, your 300 yeah. friends. They're like, damn, I want to, I want to support Aldo. I'm yeah. going to click like on his page when it's like, okay. damn, it's not even his page. Okay. You know what that I mean? makes sense. Yeah. So, so, you. so that, that cannot be the first thing we see. Okay. It has to be your business page. So this link over here, I'll show you how to link it all, but this link over here, right here, it should be the first thing I see right here. Okay. Just like candy. So candy, again, it's, it's a link to her business page. Okay. That's, that's basic. That's number one. And that's why I see everyone miss. And if an agent does have, um, 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 some type of page there, it's normally their brokers. So they'll have, they'll have KW, they'll have EXP, oh. they'll have their brokers link, you know, real okay. estate agent at Coldwell. And it's, and it, and it's Coldwell's Facebook business page. It's like, no dude, these are my friends over here. My friends need to know about my stuff, not my broker stuff. Okay. Right. Okay. So, 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 so this is how it should look business page link right there. And okay. then you scroll down and what do you see? And you can't even ignore it. It's like a sore thumb. You see hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge, pro pro hedge properties. She knows branding. She knows the basic branding. She knows the importance of basic branding and that all, that's all she did. So just like you did with your Facebook up here, you yep. customized your user name. Yep. When Aldo T dot realtor, you're going to do the same thing for, for Instagram, for LinkedIn, for Twitter, for Pinterest. You're going to do the same thing for your dot com, whatever website you may have through your broker, that's fine. But what we need to own is we need to own the dot com. So if Aldo, if Aldo T, dot realtor is the name you're branding okay well then i need aldo t realtor.com okay you know what i mean so whatever the one name is it doesn't matter you, you're gonna probably think about it and, and think of some names over try to get creative and, and think of something short and catchy but okay. but um 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 whatever that is you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna create every platform under uh, around it and you're gonna okay. also get the dot com so when you get the dot com They'll start seeing auto T realtor.com. And then when they click on that, then it can go to your website. Then it can go to your okay. broker's website or if you even have a website with them, but okay. you don't need your own website right now. You just need the dot com that dot com you can get for a buck. Okay. Okay. So, but, but it's all about the branding. It's all about the basic branding. It's all about having these links listed, having them listed, having them all active, and then just taking it up a step further and matching every single one of them. Okay. Question here. Um, so for example, with the Instagram, the Twitter and all that, I already have, yep. uh, like a username on it, but yep. it's not the same as the realtor is yeah, bro. A big issue. Or? Yeah. Yeah. We're changing all of them. You're going to change okay. all of them. Okay. Okay. Change all of them. Get the, find, find that one realtor username, find that one name we're going to use for all of them. Okay. That's the point of all this okay. is that, yeah, you got all of them, but they're all mix matched. Okay. And look, it's, it's horrible for our branding. And, 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 and when you, when you can create one name for everything, it just makes it easier for your audience to remember you by one name. Okay. And okay. if they type in that one name into any platform, boom, they're going to find you. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, 
and, and it's really these platforms. You got so many upcoming platforms. You got so many popular platforms, but it's really, when it comes to real estate, when it comes to, I, I, would, I would assume that your clientele is anywhere from 25 and up. Yeah. yeah. They're on one of these platforms. Yeah. So these are the top five. Facebook, okay. Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Okay. Those are your top five. Now, you don't need to know a damn thing about any of them, really. All you need to know is that your audience is there and you want to at least have them active, listed, and matching. Okay. That's the most. Like, you don't got to be tweeting. You don't got to be on Pinterest. You got to just have an active account, have it listed, and, and, and make sure everything is matching. Okay. Okay. That's step one. That goes into the intro. Um, and then over here also, once you get everything listed in the intro over here, and I have a YouTube channel, so I, I have videos on all this stuff. I'll send you a video on how to do that. Okay. Like cool. I'll send you a video on how to do that. That part's simple. It's okay. like a 20 minute video. Cause I walk you through in depth, but once okay. you watch it, you'll be able to match everything in two minutes. Okay. Perfect. So, so, so not only do I see it here in the intro, when I land on someone's page for the first time, and even if we're not friends, even if we're not friends, this information shows publicly. Yep. So don't show it to just your friends. Don't put it on private. Make sure it's on public because this needs to show whether we're friends or not. Okay. I want all my links out there, right? Because, because not only are they going to show in the intro, but if, if anyone clicks about, then right away, they show right here, right in front of me as well. And every single one of them is a clickable link. So all I got to do is okay. click and automatically it takes me to their account. And then I can just follow her there. Right. So they're, okay. they're all clickable links and that's what we want. We don't want anybody at the type in your name or think of what your Twitter handle is. No dude, provide the link. Let me just click. Cause I'm lazy as hell. I'm going to click, okay. right? Yeah. Just click. And so once yep. we list them on the personal page, then we're going to bring them over here to the, to the business page in the about section of the business page. And this is where everything should be listed as well. So right here where you have zbell.com, this should yeah. be right here. I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. And then okay. I should, I should see that.com and everything should be matching. Like on candies, if I come to candies and click about, I, I click about, I scroll down, I see hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. Everything is one name. Yep. And this is LinkedIn and Pinterest, but I don't know why the icon isn't showing, but Instagram, Twitter, her website address, her email, everything is matching. Basic branding, bro. Basic branding. This is basic social media branding. This is what I call step one. Everyone misses this basic step. And the only reason why I even call this a step and the only reason why I spend time on this and believe it's even important is because I believe branding is important to every agent. Yep. It's like you're going to end up putting your face on everything, bro. Business yeah. cards, your decal on the side of your car. Like even if you put up a billboard or a bus bench, your face. If you send out direct mail, your face is on those direct mail pieces, right? Like your face is going to be on everything. Yeah. So when it comes to social media, it's just these links. Making sure that these links are matching and making sure that everything is listed properly. That's step okay. one. Yeah. And so, so here's step two. Here's step two. As we come to this business page now, here's step two. When it comes to this page, actually, when it comes to the personal page, as I mentioned, this intro is the first impression. Yep. Obviously, I can look at the image and be like, I could be like, okay, dude, sharp guy, professional, real estate agent. The guy looks like he knows what he's doing. I can look at an image and, and come to my um, um, prejudgment super, super easy. But, then, yep. but, but it's because we're building a business why these links are so important, right? That's yep. why that first impression is so important because I'm building a business. When it comes to my business page, this like count is the first impression. So okay. although you just got licensed, our social media perception, the, the, the way people look at us online, uh -huh. number one, they don't know us. So, so it doesn't even matter. But at no. the same time, no one really needs to know or no one needs to automatically assume that you are brand new. Okay. Like you are brand new, but shit, no I don't really care. No one really yeah. cares. But at yeah. the same time, when I look at this like number, I do assume that you're brand new. <laughs> okay. Right? Fair like because, because when it comes to the likes, that's considered a low like number. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm telling you, I see it by the thousands. 99.9999% of every agent will have a couple hundred likes. Okay. When I come to Aldo's page and I see 92, 
versus yeah. I come to Candy's page and I see 3,500. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know either one of you, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know you're brand new. I don't know if she's brand new. I don't know anyone. But I look at that number and I automatically assume that she's the shit. Okay. I automatically assume she's crushing it. I automatically assume she's the one to work with. If I'm a consumer and I'm yeah. looking at that stupid number, I'm automatically thinking that she's been doing this forever. Yeah. When, I when so all I know, she could have just got licensed just like you. I don't know. Yeah. 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 I do too, honestly. That's yeah. step two, bro. Step two, every agent is clicking invite to get to a couple hundred. I yeah. want you to run one simple Facebook ad and get to a couple thousand. Okay. And you're going to do it fast. It's not a long time ad. It's not a monthly ad you run all the time. No, there's one ad. You'll be at freaking 1900 by freaking Tuesday. Okay. You know, it's one ad. Like it's one yeah. simple, quick, just, just influx simple of ad. likes. Okay. Yep. That's step two. When I land here, bro, I need to see 920. Okay. Right. And, yep. and that's why like over here on my personal page, like if you just look at the personal page alone, there's my step one, right? There's my mm. step one, getting all my links up, making sure that everything is matching. And then here's step two, because Aldo doesn't know David, if he really wants to look in and do his due diligence and really say, okay, what this, what's this guy really, you know, pitching? Like, what's he really about? What ends up happening is a person ends up coming to my business page <clears throat> and boom, right when they scroll down right away, they see, yeah. it's like, dude, right? Aldo doesn't know me. But when he looks at that number, he's like, damn, okay, maybe he knows a little bit about something. Yeah. Right? Because how in the heck are 10,000 people liking his page? Like, who the hell is this guy? Right? Yeah. All that is is perception, bro. You don't know me. For all you know, I could have just started doing this last week. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Right? That's yeah. step two. So, so you don't need to go nowhere near that. Like I'm telling you right now, every agent has 200 likes. Like if you just went up to 2000 or if you just went up to 1200, like you're in a good position and, and you're in a good position for a very long time. Cause ain't nobody catching you. Like no one, no one's getting that high on the like count and the yeah. likes, that's not where your leads are coming from. It's just people who like your page. And as I yeah. mentioned earlier, Facebook only shows your post to 1%. So even if you had 1900, Facebook's only showing it to 1%. Every time you post, 1%. So, it's, so that's not exactly where your leads are coming from. The yep. reason why that needs to be high is so when, I, when you do land here and you see that number, automatically I got you. That okay. branding, that perception is worth the few bucks that I'll spend to run that one ad. Okay. It's worth it to grab your attention. It's worth the perception. It's worth the credibility. Okay. Even if my leads are not going to be coming, even if I took that number to 2000 and my leads are not coming from there, it does not matter. It's the number that I shot for because I need that branding. I need that credibility. I need people to know that I'm the shit. Okay. Right. And it's that light yeah. count. That's yeah. step two. That's a one-time ad. Knock that out. I'll show you how to do that. I'll help you run that one. If you need me to help you run that one, but that's step two. Here's step three. Here's step three, step four, and step five. What every agent does, bro, is they'll come over here to their personal page. Once you start getting listings, once, once you start having open houses, once you really start crushing it, you're yeah. going to come over here and, 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 and post your success, which you should. And that's a good thing. Yeah. But again, as you take this friend count up, no mm -hmm. one's going to be in the area. So as you post your next listing, as you take that number to 1,300, no one's in the area. As you promote your open house, you take that number to 1,300, no one's in the area. That's what everyone's doing. So everyone's yeah. posting their local business on their personal page when the majority of their friends live across the country. Mm -hmm. That's what everyone's doing. So as yeah. you come to social media, bro, and you get up your Instagram, you get up your Pinterest, you get up your LinkedIn, because that's where a lot of agents are. They're on LinkedIn. Yeah. But the same thing applies. As you get your connections up on LinkedIn and you go to 1,200 connections, you go to 1,500, you go to 5,000 connections on LinkedIn. 99% of those people aren't going to live in the area, bro. Yeah. Like at all, but you're yeah. promoting your business to that page and no one even cares. Mm. So rather than posting all over social media, here's step three. What you're going to start doing is start running Facebook ads. You have to, now you may not have the budget for it now to run a consistent ad, but you need it. You need it. You need to be thinking that okay. as you go close your next escrow, you need to start putting a little aside for Facebook advertising. 
Okay. That's the number one thing that I'm going to leave you with on this call today is okay. you have to be running Facebook ads. And the only reason for it is because it's the only way, it's, it's not the only way, but when it comes to social media, let me, let me specifically narrow it in okay. to, to social media. When yeah. it comes to social media, Facebook advertising and Instagram advertising and even YouTube advertising, but let's just keep it on Facebook for now. We'll just learn one platform yeah. at a, one platform sure. at a time. When it comes to the, 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 just the overall um, 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 reason why you need to run Facebook ads is because, as I mentioned, as you take these friend counts up, no one's going to live in the area. So the reason why we have to run this as a Facebook ad is because it's the only way I can get the attention of my local market. Mm. You're doing deals in Aurora, bro. Yeah. You're not doing deals in Florida or n Connecticut or New Hampshire or freaking wow. New York. Like, yeah. although you can, like you mm -hmm. can, I'm sure you can broker out a deal, make it happen, make your split or whatever, but that's uh -huh. not your ideal client. No, no. So, so, so as you take this friend count from 300 to 1300 and you get these next thousand people on your Facebook friend list, they're all going to live across the country. Yeah. It's so it's like, damn. Changes. No. Yeah. And, and, and they're not buying in your local area. So the yeah. only way I can market to my local area on social media is running a Facebook ad. Okay. Bottom line. And I know when uh, running Facebook ads, I can do it locally or I can do it, um, I guess, target a market or just do it like a general ad. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the whole reason for it is to target a market. The whole reason for it is to target Aurora. Or Inglewood, okay. wherever, okay. wherever you're farming, wherever yeah. you're doing business. Yeah. So, so I can run this as an ad. Let's say, let's say it is, Ing is it Inglewood? Am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Let's say I'm farming Inglewood and okay. that's where I'm doing all my deals. I'm looking for listings in this area. Okay. A, a, a Facebook ad would allow me to only show this post to everyone in that area. Mm, okay. That makes sense. Okay. So, 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 so the reason why Facebook ads are so, so crucial and so, so critical to, to your social media business from this point on is yeah. because again, it's the only way I can attack the market where I'm doing business. Okay. It right. makes no sense, bro. If I owned a restaurant and I'm out here in San Diego and you and I are friends on Facebook and I keep promoting different mills and different promotions and different coupons that we have for our restaurant, Aldo's like, dude, I'm in freaking Colorado, bro. I'm not in San okay. Diego. Why do I need to keep hitting sense. your taco shop freaking post? <laughs> All Bro, right, that's sense. what you're going to be thinking. You're going to be like, dude, yeah. this guy keeps posting freaking burritos and, and tacos. It's like, dude, I, I'm not even in that area. Yeah. Okay. That's how it is, bro. So, yeah. so unless you're running a Facebook ad and targeting people who live in that area only, then you're spinning your wheels. If you're not doing that, you're spinning your wheels. You're going to be blowing your money on random stuff and you're going to be wasting your time. You're okay. going to be wasting your time posting on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, my business page, my personal page. You're going to be wasting your time for the next two years posting when you should have took all that energy and targeted Inglewood. Okay. But again, the only way I can do that is if I ran a Facebook ad. Okay. That's the only way. That's step three. So step three is when you can run a weekly ad. The like ad, that's a one-time thing. That's a one-time thing. But when you start running weekly ads, that's a weekly thing. Okay. So, so that's when you'll need a budget. So I tell people all the time, go close your next escrow and then put a little bit aside for Facebook advertising. You're going to want okay. it. You're going to need it. Yeah. Um, and so step three is when you can run a Facebook ad every week targeting Inglewood or targeting Aurora or whatever area, targeting that area. And here's, here's the thing. Here's what I want you to jot down. These weekly Facebook ads, again, this is step three. Uh -huh. the, the objective is to focus on one topic. Okay. So you being a real estate agent, you're equipped – and as you grow and as you learn more about the business, you're going to learn everything. Yeah. You're going to know all about short sales and foreclosures and forbearance and freaking and, 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 and all this stuff, selling, yeah. buying, what it takes to speak to a lender, your FICO score, your debt to income ratio, escrow, title, freaking. You're going to know about all this stuff. Okay. But when it comes to 
Facebook, when it comes to social media, when it comes to a Facebook campaign, when it comes to a weekly ad, step three, which is what I'm saying, the only thing you should be doing, bro, instead of posting on all these damn platforms, the yeah. only thing you should be doing is running a weekly ad to your local area. But okay. that weekly ad is going to focus on one topic. So what you're going to think of is you're going to think of one topic. You're going to either going to be focused on the process of buying or you're going to start educating people on the process of selling. Okay. One topic. I'm either going to be that professional all out 1000% listing agent, or I'm going to be that all out 1000% buyer's agent. Okay. But I'm going to pick one. Now, although you can do everything and now, and although you'll do everything, I get it. But when it comes to Facebook advertising, when it comes to this specific strategy, step three, running a yeah. Facebook ad every week, you want to start talking about one topic. Okay. Because you want to target that local. Ads. What's that? Consist consistently throughout the campaign of the Facebook ads. Yes. Uh, do you like it? Week yeah. In, week out. Okay. Every That's week, every week. And here's, here's what I'm going to encourage you to do, bro. You're a good looking guy, bro. So what <laughs> I would do, man, I would, I'm telling you, I'm not joking. I would highly, yeah. highly encourage you. You have to start doing video, bro. You have okay. to, you have Creating to, you, content. Have to, you have to create these weekly ads need to be video. Okay. Hey guys, this is Aldo. And these are simple video, bro, on your cell phone, simple video on your cell phone, raw, uncut, unedited, nothing professional about it. This is social media. You don't need a camera crew. You don't need a microphone. You don't need any of that stuff, dude. You have your cell phone. Yeah. So, so, so you're going to pick one topic either i'm going to start educating people with a weekly video and i'm going to start educating people on the process of buying what it takes to buy what it takes to be your first time home buyer what it takes to have a great income a great fico score a great debt to income ratio all this stuff you could talk about when it talk when it comes to buying you would start doing a weekly video on that okay hey guys this is aldo or 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 selling whatever but pick one Okay. So, so if it was selling, for example, pulling out your cell phone, Hey guys, this is Aldo. Just wanted to say hello. I'm out here in my office. I'm going to be doing a lot of work today, but Hey, I was on a phone. I was on, I was just on a phone call with a client and this client was thinking about selling. And so I wanted to give you guys some advice and give you guys some tips on what I consulted my client with, because these strategies are going to really help you increase the value of your home. If you are also deciding to sell. One thing I want to talk about you guys is renovating your kitchen. And, and, and what kind of value that brings to your overall price when you do go to sell. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Okay. Like little random one minute like videos, snippets. bro. Yeah. Two minute okay. videos on, 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 on a simple topic. Okay. One minute you're giving me strategies on renovating my kitchen and what it means to the value of my home. One, one other week you may be talking about solar. And if I put solar on my roof, you know, my, my value can increase by 20% if I, if I sold my property. All these random things that you already know you're going to start breaking down into short form video that, okay. and I'm not talking about daily video for social media. No, man, I'm not talking about posting this on Instagram. No, I'm talking about one video per week specifically for a Facebook ad that I'm targeting Inglewood with. Mm, okay. Very different, bro. Very different. Yeah. Every agent will do what I'm saying, but they'll post it everywhere. No, man, yeah. I'm not looking to post it everywhere. I need to, I need to target my local area. And, and that's, that's why Facebook ads are so important is because you're a local business owner. Yep. If you were doing deals nationwide, which again, you probably can, but that's not your ideal market. Yeah, if you're doing true. deals nationwide, then posting all over social media and building an audience of people all over the damn place would make sense. Okay. But if I'm only closing deals in a local area, in a very specific targeted area, uh -huh. how do I get their attention? What am I going to do? Am I going to door knock? Am I going to freaking send out direct mail pieces every damn week? No. Or am I going to run a Facebook ad yeah, and do a video of me and really brand myself okay. and video, bro, video, video, video is what we're all consuming. And okay. if I can run a Facebook ad and target my local area and I can do that every week and provide value, that's when you're going to crush it. Okay. So, so every week, every week you're talking about the process of selling. Every week you're talking about the process of selling, right? That's okay. step three. Now here's where we end it. Here's what I'll say in closing. Okay. Here's step four and five. Okay. okay? So yeah. here's what you're going to start doing. You're going to start doing simple video, educating people on the okay. process of selling. Okay. This is 
a weekly ad. One video per week is all I'm saying you have to do. Okay. For everything, for all of this stuff, for all this. While, while everyone's posting on all of these other platforms, Aldo is running one video per week targeting Aurora. Okay. And capturing more leads than all these other bozos. Because here's, here's why and here's how. When you're doing these videos, two minute video talking about the process of selling, Mm -hmm. At the end of the video, here's your call to action. At the end of the video, what you're going to say is you're going to say, hey, guys, and by the way, and, and again, keep in mind, you just gave me two minutes of value. You just gave me two minutes of what it takes to increase the value of my home before I sold it. You're, you're now educating. It's, it's, all, it's, it's all those weekly TV show. Okay. That's how you want to look at it. It's, it's yeah, all definitely. those weekly real estate news. Okay. That's how you want to look at it. And you're, yep. but again, you're staying on topic. We're staying yep. on the topic of selling. We're talking to sellers, right? Okay. We're talking to people that are interested in selling someday. Yep. At the end of that video, here's what you say. And also guys, by the way, cause here's how ads look. When you're in the newsfeed on Facebook, whether you're looking at it from your computer or whether you're looking at it from a cell phone, you're uh -huh. scrolling through, scrolling through, and everyone's attention is in the middle section. This is the news feed. So okay. as I'm scrolling through and just seeing what my friends are posting, seeing what everyone's up to, all of a sudden, I'll come across a sponsored post. This yep. is a Facebook ad. Okay. Okay? So this is a Facebook ad. Anytime you yep. see the word sponsored, that's a yeah, Facebook, that's a Facebook ad. ad. Okay. So there's the text. There's the image. There's the call to action button. Mm. Okay? But let me okay. show you another one that says learn more because that's what majority of them are going to say. Here we go. Okay. So here's another sponsored ad. This is a Facebook ad sponsored. Hey Orca. That's who's running it. That business page. There's okay. the image. There's the learn more button. Okay. So step three, weekly videos, educating people on the process of selling at the end yeah. of that video, I'm saying, Hey guys. And by the way, we put together a 2020 seller guide. It's a PDF. It's a few pages, five pages, 10 pages, whatever. Okay. We put together, you guys, a free 2020 seller guide that I want to give you for free. So if you click learn more, it'll take you straight to my web page where you can download your free copy. See you okay. guys there. Huh. So at the end of your video, bro, not only are you educating me on that two minute video, uh -huh. And not only are you doing it every week, so now uh -huh. I keep seeing you, I keep seeing this guy Aldo in my freaking newsfeed every damn week. Like this guy keeps educating us on real estate, right? Yeah. So not only are you, am I going to keep seeing that, so you're educating me on the front end, but on the back end, you're also giving me something of value for free as well. Okay. And that's a free seller guide. So I, okay. so I click learn more. I click learn more right there. I come over to your seller guide page. I click the yellow button and okay. I download your seller guide. Okay. And all that is, bro, is a PDF. All that is is a few pages educating people on the process of selling a home. Okay. Huh. That's all that is. Yep. So, 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 again, the only people that are seeing this ad are people who live in Aurora. Yep. The only people who are clicking on learn more are people who live in Aurora. The only okay. people who are freaking wanting it will ever download something like this are people that live in Aurora who are thinking about selling. Okay. Like why else would I down, download a seller guide if I'm, if I don't even own a home. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like yep. who the hell wastes their time doing that? No one, no one would even do that. So, so you start driving people to this page to capture the lead. This is what I call step four. Step four is a web page. What every agent has is a website. You don't need a website. We need a web page. Okay. It's also called a landing page. That's okay. what I call step four, a landing page to capture the lead. Step five is once you capture that lead, that's when you need an email autoresponder to email these leads automatically. That's step five is email automation. Step four, landing page. Step three, weekly video targeting Aurora. And then step two is that like count. And then step one yep. is listing all of those links. Okay. Those are, those are the five basic steps because here's the deal. When, when I see your Facebook ad and I click on learn more and I come over here to your web page and I click this button because I want to download this free seller guide, your email automation better be in place. 
That's okay. step five is email automation. So right away, when I opt in, right away, when I click on that yellow button, an email comes out to me right away. Hey, Dave, this is Aldo. Thank you so much for downloading my free 2020 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're going to learn the tricks, the strategies, everything we do to help our clients sell their home at the highest value possible. Click the link. You can download your copy now and check for my emails. I have a ton of great information coming your way. Talk to you soon. But here's the deal. Tomorrow, another email better go out. And this is step five, email automation. You're not physically emailing anyone. Tomorrow, another automated email is going to go out. Okay. Hey, Dave, this is Aldo. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you downloaded my free 2020 seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about curb appeal and making sure that your landscaping was up to date? Here's what I meant by it. Okay. Maybe a couple sentences. And then in that email, hey, Dave, and also, by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Two days later, Aldo, another email goes out. Hey, hey, Dave, this Aldo, just wanted to follow up. Hey, man, a few days ago, I know you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page nine when I was talking about renovating your bathroom and how much that increases the value of your property? Here's what I meant by it. And hey, Dave, by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call, click the link below, take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Mm. So now you have a handful of these emails automatically going out while you're sleeping to all these people who are opting into your landing page that are seeing your targeted Facebook ad. Okay. That's what it's all about, bro. If you're not doing that, then, then, then it, 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 then social media is not where you'll be finding deals. Like at all, at all, at all, at all, okay. at all, at all. You'll be over here just to be social, but it's not, it's, it, it wouldn't be capturing solid leads okay. because again, everyone lives across the country and not yeah. everyone's in the market at a given time. But, but when it comes to marketing, when it comes to, to leveraging social media, we got to be running ads directly to a free offer to give people information for free in exchange for their information back. Okay. That's how that works. The only reason why I'm giving you my name and email is because you're giving me something for free. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's something for free that I'm actually interested in. Okay. Right? Yep. That's why that works. And, and, and so that that's kind of that that right there was a ton but and i don't i don't expect you to start all that right now at all step three step four and step five but what you should start right now bro is step one get all those links the listed links. and then step two take this like count up okay so have you read a facebook ad at all recently or no, late here never no, okay no, no. if anything i can easily help you with this ad um you just you just pay for the ad and 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 give me a good review okay but it just it just comes down to do we i mean you're just you're brand new so do you even have a budget for an ad right now no uh, to be honest no um but i know that it is necessary um and this just kind of solidifies the idea yeah uh, like yeah but i think right now what i would be working towards would just be updating the links on that on that bio page that you're talking about mm-hmm um, but I think, can I talk to you in the future to maybe schedule that with you or can I ask you any questions and stuff? Heck yeah, yeah man. Uh, like perfect. subscribe to my YouTube channel. I, I, I release okay, uh, daily yeah, videos on all this stuff. Awesome. Yeah, I could totally do that. And then I'll message you once that budget does come in. But I think as of right now, um, yeah, it would be kind of tough to be honest with you. Yeah, no, no, for sure, man. That this like ad is the first ad. Okay. So that's the sure. first ad. That's a one-time ad. Run that. Sure. Reach out to me. We'll run that as soon as possible. And then after okay. that, you, 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 I'm, I'm encouraging you to do weekly ads and that's step three. Okay. That's when you'll need a budget, right? You'll want to be spending okay. at least. And, and that's why, that's why I always tell people, man, I'm like, man, you gotta, you gotta put stuff aside. Like when you yeah. go close that next escrow, yeah. you have to put a little bit aside for Facebook ads because Facebook okay. ads, you want to be budgeting, budgeting, at least a minimum of 300 a month okay because yeah. it runs on a daily budget and it's about yeah. 10 bucks a day for facebook okay. okay so but that's that's later on that's step yeah, three okay. that's later on <clears throat> so that's when you'll need more of a, of a monthly budget but the first one is just a one-time a one-time ad how much would it be for the first one it's i mean it's up to you bro like it, it just comes down to a daily budget like some agents oh, okay. will spend five okay. bucks a day Okay. Some will spend 10 bucks a day. Like if you just spend, if you just spend five bucks a day, mm -hmm. like, and you rent it for just the first month, it's a one-time ad. 
that would be, mm. let's just say five bucks a day at 30 days. That'd be 150 okay. on this one ad. And that would take this number to 1500. Okay. I get you. Okay. So that would, that would be a huge, even if you put a hundred bucks, like if you put a hundred bucks towards this ad, this number would be a thousand. Okay. okay. And that's okay, kind of okay. all you need. Like you don't need 10,000. Like you just need a comma in that number, like as soon as possible. Yeah. Okay. And, and what everyone does is they'll just click invite and they'll click invite for the next 12 months just to have, just to get that to 290. Yeah. When it's like, dude, no man, run a Facebook ad, get it to freaking 920 by Monday. Okay. You know? Yeah. I understand. So, so you can either do, I mean, a hundred bucks would, would be, would be sufficient because it put a comma, it'd get it to a thousand. Yeah. But, but it's up to you. Okay. Yeah. But like I said, for right now, it's kind of tough. Um, and you know, I'm just starting. Yes. Heck but, yeah, bro. Um, but I know, and now more than ever, I understand that I do need to put some stuff aside for, uh, advertising. So I'm yes, definitely man. glad that I had this conversation. You have to, bro. You yeah, have to yeah, yeah. reach out to me anytime. Message me, and I'll send you a link to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my channel, and okay. let's stay in touch, man. But I'm glad Perfect. I was able to share this information with you before you. Yeah, really, no, thank you very much. You know, Honestly, to, like you know, I was just throwing, you know, darts in the fucking dark. To be honest, with <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, bro, yeah, oh, yeah bro. Shoot me any questions anytime, man. I'll be a message away. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, David. All right, Aldo. Thank you, bro. Brother, good luck, man. You're gonna crush it, man. I'm excited awesome. for you. Thank you. Hopefully, talk to you soon. <laughs> Talk to you soon. All right, bro. Late. Yeah. yeah.